Hi, this is just a short video to show the installation and usage of the Office Fabric UI code snippets for Visual Studio Code. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually install the snippets. If you follow the link in the blog post or in the GitHub release notes, it's going to take you to this page here. I'm just going to select everything on the page and copy that. Then we'll jump back over into Visual Studio, click on File, Preferences, User Snippets, select HTML, and then simply paste that contents in and save that file. I can now open up an HTML file that's opened as part of a folder. It doesn't seem to work in Visual Studio. The snippets don't seem to work if you just open up an HTML file as a working file. But now that I have the snippets installed, I can just begin to use them. And they're all keyed off of UIF Dash, and you can see all the different options that are available here. I'm going to start by showing just the CDN. So if you want to put in the CDN references, you can do that. If you want to add in a button, you can see I've got options for all the different types of buttons. We'll just do a standard button and it expands out uh, into all the HTML markup that's necessary. I started putting in some variables for things like IDs. So if I wanted to call this, you know, my button, it's going to give the ID to the button and then the span gets my button dash label. So all of the snippets, or almost all the snippets at this point have, uh, or all of the components rather, have snippets available to them. If you look in the blog post or in the readme file, there's a couple that aren't quite done yet. I broke things down between simple components that are simply HTML, like the buttons, and then there's what I'm terming complex components, which really aren't that hard. They're just, they have some JavaScript to go with them. The breadcrumb is a perfect example of that. If I wanted to put in a breadcrumb, I can type in UIF, select breadcrumb. It's going to put in a whole bunch of HTML, but then there's also some JavaScript that's required. So I can go back in and select the UIF-breadjs, and that's going to put in a sample of the JavaScript that's necessary to make the breadcrumb work. So that's a quick look at installing and using the Fabric snippets for Visual Studio Code. I will create them for Visual Studio and perhaps some other editors if there is interest. Uh, right now, this is still in beta, and I want to make sure that uh, all the snippets are correct and work before I go and spend the time to spin them off into other editors. Take a look on GitHub. You can go to find out more information, including the GitHub repository. If you go to s43.io slash, I can't type, fabric snippets. Thanks a lot.